Welcome back. Today, Monday, the 10th of May 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of 19 new cases of COVID-19. This from a total of 244 samples. The individuals were seen at various community respiratory clinics. The contact tracing for these new cases is underway. Confirmation was also received of the recovery of 17 individuals, bringing the total number of active cases to 149. Presently, two of the active cases are requiring critical care at the respiratory hospital. The new cases bring the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 4,690. A visit from a French Navy vessel could spell a new era of joint patrol operations between the French and St. Lucia. The Navy vessel, the Resolve, was in Port Castries last week. National Security Minister Herman Gil Francis said the visit sought to deepen relations to increase the assistance given to help patrol St. Lucia's borders. It is a fact that um, um, based on the number of coves that we have in, this, in, in, in surrounding the island of St. Lucia, it's sometimes difficult for the Marine to be everywhere. And to get the assistance from the French is huge. It's an, immen an immense um, uh, assistance. And so we are about moving into border control, where the Marine unit is going to be taken away from the police and be joined with the customs and the quarantine department of the Ministry of Agriculture. When that happens, we will see a rapid increase in, in personnel at the Marine unit and equipment. So we will be getting some additional boats and so on. So again, the coordination with the French is going to be extremely important. Minister Francis expressed gratitude for the presence of the vessel in the region. These vessels are going to be in our area and um, the, the job is to do the interception of narcotics and firearms, also to be able to respond to any emergencies um, similar to what we had in St. Vincent. Um, so that is the, the, the function and the calling. They are based in French Guyana, um, but they are now in our waters for the next few weeks. Another desired outcome of ongoing talks with the French is training and capacity building to bolster the skills of St. Lucia's Marine Unit. Almost one month into the recommencement of the third academic term, our news team revisited the president of the National Principals Association for an update on how schools are progressing. By her account, so far, so good. The president of the National Principals Association and the principal of the Ave Maria Girls Primary School, Valerie St. Helen Henry, says one month into the reopening of the third academic term and the recommencement of face-to-face -face instruction, everything has been going good thus far. She says, however, students have to continually be reminded that life has not returned to normal and there are many rules that need to be followed. Just like we have to deal with adults, with constantly reminding them of wearing their mask and so on. We have to do it with the children and, and some of them, I think they follow what they see the adults are doing where they wear their mask under their chin. So you walk around and you see a child with her, her, her mask under her chin, you have to say hello, bring it up and it's like, you know, they, they forget. So we have to do that and we have to do it together. The parents, the teachers, we have to keep, keep at it if we really want to achieve the goals that we want to achieve in ending this term um, doing the face-to-face -face instructions without any interruptions. St. Helen Henry says the biggest issue being faced right now is the fact that teachers have no control over what students do outside of the school gates. She says in relation to protocol, she has witnessed students doing everything by the book at school and then turn around and flaunt protocols in the community. At the school level, we have it under control. We have the, at the gates what is supposed to happen within the classrooms. We have the resources, we have the supplies. I think the problem is what's out there. When the children, I do see some secondary school children out there without their mask or they have it under their chin and they're moving around. They still want to gather into certain areas around the, 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 the school, um, the, out there in, the, in society, out there. And, and they, 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 they forget that they're supposed to follow the protocols and you have to remind them, where's your mask, put on your mask, that kind of thing. And I mean, the gathering, like on a Friday, it's like you have to be like a police officer moving around to, to ensure that they, 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 
they follow the protocols. They want to be around in, on the streets, even finding themselves in little fights. St. Helen Henry says this time around she is hoping that students and teachers can complete the academic term through face-to-face -face means and says teachers are up for a huge battle. The teachers are, are working very hard this time around because our students, they came back, most of them, based on the reports I get across the the board is that um, a lot of we have to do a lot of motivating and inspiring and encouraging the students some of them have come back ready to work but we have a few who are laid back and may have may need a lot more push in in, in getting them to be more focused and to work and to give more than they can give because a lot has they have lost a lot a lot of time yes the online instruction it was there it was effective for some not for all she says all across the board she can say both teachers and students are trying to make up for lost time and she is hoping that there continues to be adherence to the protocols to avoid a repeat of the last academic term reporting for hot seven news i am Geneve Gonzalez. This is the Hot 7 TV Nike News. We'll be right back.